Hi, I'm Jeffrey Morrow. And I'm Kimberly Bean, and we are Five College Digital Humanities Postbacks. And today we're going to teach you guys how to use Twine. So step one, what is Twine? Twine is an open source program designed to help you write digital choose-your-own-adventure stories, interactive fiction, games, or any other kind of branch narrative. It saves everything as HTML and can run in any modern browser. Twine runs entirely within your browser, but saves everything to your own machine. That's right, no cloud. That means that you can either run it by going to twinery.org or by downloading the HTML files and running it off of your own computer. We highly recommend that you use Chrome or Firefox. Step 2. How do I use this? Your canvas for every Twine story is the story map. It looks like this. You can click on any of the small squares or passages and write anything you want in them. Anything you can do in HTML you can accomplish in these boxes. That includes writing copy, adding images, incorporating sound, and so much more. The basis of every Twine story, really any choose your own adventure story, is the link. Making links in Twine is easy, it even reminds you how to do it every time you start a new passage. Just enclose any text in double brackets, like this. Twine will then automatically propagate new passages that link back to your first passage. From there, you just go into your new passages, write more, and keep adding links to your heart's content. By default, Twine makes the name of your link and the name of the passage it goes to the same thing. But some of you may be asking, what if I want a link to read different on the page than the name of the passage it goes to? There's a really easy way to change that and make the displayed text, the text your reader sees, different from the passage text, the name of the passage your link goes to. Just use the following mockup. Display text, parallel line, passage text. You can also do display text, right arrow, passage text, or passage text, left arrow, display text. Step three, what else can you do in the story map? Drag to rearrange your individual passages however you want. Search through all of your passages for specific words. Resize your story web to get different views. Change your story's name or format. There are three available themes. Test out your story in the debug view, which you can get to by clicking the little bug. Those of you following along at home might have noticed by now a small menu that appears when you mouse over a passage. You might be asking yourself, well, what about that menu? From left to right, those buttons are delete the passage, edit the passage, enter the debug view, make that passage the first passage in your twine. Okay, so how do you save your twine and reload it later? Twine doesn't save anything to the cloud. Everything lives in your browser cache or as HTML files on your own computer. This means that if you close your browser and clear the cache, your work will disappear. You can save your work by clicking the Archive button on the home page. This will give you an HTML file that you can save to your desktop. Depending on the browser, you might have to copy the text of that file to a text editor and save it as HTML, like so. You can then import it back through the home screen. Step five, how do I share my twine with other people? On the story web, in the main menu, in the lower left hand corner, you can select publish. Just like with archiving, it spits out an HTML file that will be automatically saved to your computer. Double check the file to make sure that it ends in HTML. You can then load up this HTML file in any browser or host it at a web page. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to share your twine, you can put the HTML file in Google Drive or Dropbox and then share that link with people. This only scratches the surface of what twine can do. It's a deceptively powerful program with support for custom CSS, JavaScript, and even automated scripting that can add new depth to your Twine stories. If you're interested in learning more about what you can do with Twine, there are plenty of great Twine resources online. 
For a step-by-step -step tutorial, you can go to twinery.org and click the wiki button or follow the link here in the video. Thanks so much for watching.